from number three answer questions b c d and e as your exercise i've done a and f finding the square of sorts i've done a b and f so you do c d and e otherwise let's go to number four let's go to question four in question four the, it's uh, in number four, the question says, simplify each of the following. 2 root 2 plus 3 root 5. 2 root 2 plus 3 root 5. Times 2 root 2 plus 3 root 5. We are squaring it, so that just means, you know, multiplying it by itself twice. So, first thing, take this 2 root 2, write it down. Now, put the second bracket in front of it. I guess it's 2 root 2 times 2 root 2 plus 3 root 5, like this. Also, take the 3 root 5, this 3 root 5, and write it down. Then put the second bracket in front of it, like we do normal <coughs> expansion <coughs> of algebraic expressions. So we now do it one at a time here. 2 root 2 times 2 root 2 is 2 times 2 first to get 4. Then root 2 times root 2 to get root 4. Also, I'm going to do 2 root 2 times 3 root 5. What does that give me? 2 root 2 times 3 root 5 will give me what? 2 times 3 first. 2 times 3, 6. Then root 2 times root 5 in front of it will give me root 10. It's the same thing here. 3 root 5 times 2 root 2. I'll do, two root, I'll do 3 times 2 first. Get 6. Then root 5 times root 2 gives me root 10. Also, I'll do 3 times 3. 9. Then root 5 times root 5 gives me root 25. So that's that, you know, that's that step. Root 4 is 2. This is 4 times 2. 6 root 10 plus 6 root 10 will give me 12 root 10. This is just like 6x plus 6x to give 12x. They are similar sorts. Similar sorts can be added or subtracted. Then this will give me 9 times 5. 9 times 5 is 45. 8. 8 plus 45 will give me 53. My answer is 53 plus 12 root 10. Take note of this kind of question. It's very common in simplification of sorts. Let's go to 4b. 4b is what? Okay, let's go to 4f. 4f is 2 root 6 minus 1 times root 3 minus root 2. It's a simple question to I'll write 2 root 6 down. Multiply it by the second bracket, root 3 minus root 2. Also, I'll write minus 1 down. Then multiply it by the second bracket, root 3 minus root 2. So 2 root 6 times 3 will give me 2 root 18. You know I did that. There's an invisible one here. So I'll do 2 times 1 to get what? 2. Then I'll do root 6 times root 3 to get root 6 times 3, which is root 18. Also, I'll do 2. 2 root 6 times root 2, that will give me 2 root 12 because there's also a you know disappearing one here. So 2 times 1, let me use this line, 2 times 1 will give me, 2 times minus 1 is minus 2, then root 6 times root 2 will give root 12. Root 6 times root 2 is root 6 times 2 which gives me root 12. So, next is the next set, root 1 times minus 3, minus root 3, sorry, minus 1 times root 3, minus root 3, then minus 1 times minus root 2 will give me plus root 2. So, simplifying, what will that give me? Let me so, that gives me what? 2 root 18. 2 root 18 will be 2 
times root 9 times root 2. You know how we simplify sorts. 2 root 18 will be 2 times root 9 times root 2. So I needed to make that smaller so I can show this. Root 18 can be split into root 9 times root 2, which we break into 2 in the middle to form root 9 times root 2. Root 18 is split into root 9 times 2. Then root 9 times 2 is split into root 9 times root 2. I'll go to the next one. Minus 2 root 12 is the same thing as minus 2 root 4 times root 3. You know, in simplifying sort, root 12 is the same as root 4 times 3. And root 4 times 3 can break into root 4 times root 3. So minus root 3, I write it alone, plus root 2. So this gives me, root 9 is 3, so that gives me 2 times 3, 6 root 2, 6 root 2 here. Then root 4 is 2, this gives me 2 times 2, 4. That's how I got minus 4 root 3. Then minus root 3, I'll write it down, plus root 2, I'll write it down, exactly. So to the next step now, 2 times 3 is 6, this gives 6 root 2 this gives us 6 root 2 minus 4 6 root 2 minus 4 root 3 that gives you what 6 root 2 minus 4 root 3 from here minus 4 root 3 minus root 3 plus root 2 2 times 3 that's how you got 6 root 2 so I connect like this bring root 2 together bring times that have root 2 together this one is 6 root 2 this is like plus 1 root 2 so 6 root 2 plus 1 root 2 will give me 7 root 2 imagine there's a 1 here. then minus 4 root 3 minus 4 root 3 will be brought together with minus 1 root 3 minus 4 minus 1 that's minus 5 root 3 that's how we got 7 root 2 minus 5 root 3 so uh, don't be the same way you look at it very well it's just exactly the same the question is uh, question b is 3 root 5 plus 2 root 6 so 3 root 5 plus 2 root 6 all squared that's 3 root 5 plus 2 root 6 times 3 root 5 plus 2 root 6 now this is i write 3 root 5 down then put the second bracket in front of it that's 3 root 5 times this also, I'll write the second term down, which is 2 root 6, then put the second bracket right in front of it. So, 3 times 3 is what? 9. This is 9. F root 5 times root 5 will give me 9 root 25. The next multiplication is 3 times 2, 6. I'll multiply numbers first before multiplying their sorts. Root 5 times root 6 gives root 30. Also, 2 times 3, 6. Then root 5 times root 6 gives us root 30. That's also 6 root 30. <coughs> then 2 times 2, 4. Root 6 times 6. Root 6 times root 6. Root 36. So, this is 9 times 5. Plus, these are similar sorts. 6 root 30 plus 6 root 30. This is just like... 6x plus 6x that gives 12 root 30 so this one will be 4 times 6 4 times root 36 is the same thing as 4 times 6 4 times 6 gives you 24 9 times 5 45 you have 45 plus 24 plus 12 root 30 that's how we got 69 plus 12 root 30 exactly so question c it's the same. 1 plus root 3 times 1 minus root 3. I'll take this one, write it down, put the second bracket in front of it. <clears throat> That's 1 times 1 minus root 3. The same way, I'll take the second term in this bracket, which is root 3, then put 1 minus root 3, which is the second bracket, in front of it. So I have 1 times 1 minus root 3 plus 1 times 1 minus root 3 plus root 3 times 1 minus root 3 so 1 times 1 1 1 times 1 1 
1 times minus root 3 minus root 3 plus root 3 times 1 plus root 3 plus root 3 times minus root 3 that's plus times minus first multiply the signs first plus times minus is minus then root 3 times root 3 what's that that's root 3 times 3 which is root 9 now here these are similar but this is like minus 1 root 3 plus 1 root 3 that's 0 just like minus 1x plus 1x that's 0 or plus 1x minus 1x that's 0 so you are left with 1 minus root 3 excuse me 1 minus root 9 and the square root of 9 is 3 1 minus 3 is minus 2 so d is the same e2 is the same i've done everything here you check it very well and do this exercise do this as your classwork or exercise